Hey Ruth here, this is Shout Out Sunday, number 78. So just to say a huge thank you for those who have subscribed and commented recently, or consistently, which there isn't a consistently, but recently anyway, as two people, which is Kalena and Wing Dragon. Here are a couple that I've bought from. So first up is Sleepy Snorlax X. Originally this was from the, uh, the bigger Pokemail, but uh, I you know, wanted to separate the videos. Anyway, so this is very lovely two packs of that time I wouldn't hardly have a slime the Vice Farts cards. They are from Brotherhood Games or something. I think I have a link in the description below. It's, uh, she kindly picked me up these two when uh, she went there, when she went to London a while back. Um, do watch. I have a very, very awesome pull in one of those packs. I'm just saying it now. <laughs> if you haven't seen it, you should go watch it. Um, next up we have this lovely pin from Nandemo Pins, designed by Drac... Drac... Uh, Drac... Renak? Sorry, I probably didn't pronounce that right. <laughs> But, um, this is, as you can see by the, uh, picture, this is their Pregnant's pin drop. Uh, not the only pin that they dropped, but the only pin I was interested in, in the uh, collection of ones that they dropped. Anyway, um, then we have this, uh, uh Kickstarter Rewards, the, uh, Sakura Festival. So I got three, well, two Sakura and one Plum Blossom pin with the sticker pack and two washi tapes. Can't uh, forget about the washi tapes. Um, anyway, uh, from Hopperion Art. Hopefully I said that right. Uh, then we have this lovely, lovely uh, Snape and Lily Untouchable pin. That's what they named it. By Liu Hagarin and Shao Art Pins. Obviously they're combined um, store is called Orange Shoppins. And yeah, that's that's it, I believe. It's a very beautiful pin, though. With the uh, semi-transparent to signify Lily's a ghost. But uh, anyway, very lovely. Um, so yes, that, that's it for uh, this segment. No real um, notices or anything important, apart from my main Instagram account, as you see on the thumbnail, is still unaccessible to me. Instagram has not gotten back to me whatsoever, which is really annoying now. Um, so I guess my sales page, which is basically my user underscore sales, will be made into my main one, I guess. Which is really important, I had loads of things on the other one. So, yeah, that's annoying, but, um, on a positive note, sort of, do check out my eBay. I have loads of anime stuff, trading card stuff, Harry Potter stuff, and other stuff stuff. So please go check that out and help me move things along. Like, for instance, a good Christmas item, I guess, would be my mystery tins which have about 140 trading cards in them. Pokemon, obviously. Um, quite a lot of the uh, bulk, but a good fair amount of hollow, hollow rares, reverse hollows, and super and ultra rares. I think even one of them has... I can't remember if I put a rainbow rare in there somewhere, but it's a total mystery sort of in the uh, one of the pictures on the eBay listing does have a preview of one of the super or ultra rares that are inside randomly because I have no idea what's in them anymore so yes so please do check it out we'd love to get rid of a lot of things but yeah that's that's about it um Look forward to some Harry Potter resin subscription boxes. Technically, there will only be four because Sophie Dye changed things. So, I've bought all 
four. Three of them arrived now. You'll see them gradually. Whether it's in November or December, I can't quite remember, but you will see them. I think it's three of them are in November. So, and the fourth one will be, well, when it arrives, which is either December or January. So do check it out. Do look forward to that. Um, yes. Still no word on other wisdom one crates. I'm missing, what, four now? Or something. Hopefully they really speed up in sending those out. But other than that, I believe that is it. So, thanks for watching and listening. Like, start more. Leave it open for notifications. Over and out.